Jerry Jones of the Cowboys, as he's aged, has become more pragmatic. He's getting older. His Super Bowls are hard to come by. Jerry Jones has gotten pragmatic. Jalen Smith, he put his arms around Jalen Smith. Remember the Notre Dame kid? He was hurt. And this season, he just cut him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought Jerry loves his players. Not that much. He wants to win games. Micah Parsons is better. And don't be surprised if Jerry Jones boots star receiver Amari Cooper after the season. Um, Amari Cooper can't play this week. He didn't get vaccinated. You know, we always bang on quarterbacks like Tua. Uh, Tua's not available. Tua's always hurt. Carson Wentz a couple years ago is always hurt. Yeah, 20 million wide receivers who could be available and didn't get vaccinated They have to be available, too. Jerry Jones on Dallas Radio is hot about it. Let's be honest about this. Dallas crushed Atlanta. They were 7-2, and the number three seed, had momentum, go to Kansas City, and once C.D. Lamb got a concussion at half, they were down to Michael Gallup and a bunch of no-names. They could have really used Amari Cooper. I mean, it was kind of surprising. The Cowboys only lost 19-9. to And Dak, under pressure, needed his star veteran A receiver. Not A receiver, a $20 million receiver. So now Dallas, only a touchdown favorite at home against the Raiders, is now a four seed. They've lost their momentum. CeeDee Lamb, concussion. Zeke's beat up. Tyron Smith is week to week and uh, three straight road games after Thanksgiving hosting the Raiders. Three straight roadies. That doesn't happen much in the NFL. They're all coming up. Two against great defenses. By the way, uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Jerry texted Michael and said, you're free to take some swings at this. Like when COVID hit, the rule I had was quarterbacks got to get vaccinated because teams don't carry six and seven. That's the first thing. Like quarterbacks get vaccinated. Be a team player. Get off your Reddit board. Get vaccinated. But the second thing to think about is, this is the NFL. People get tackled. We're in late November. Teams are falling apart. And all that momentum Dallas had, and you can hear it in Jerry's voice, could have been wasted. Because a nice kid didn't get vaccinated. And if C.D. Lamb isn't ready to go against the Raiders, Dallas has never been as good. Dak has never been as good when he doesn't have Amari Cooper. It's a team game. Whether or not you think you should be vaccinated, you shouldn't when you're part of a collective in the NFL where in November every year teams start to fall apart. Don't kid yourself. That game against the Chiefs was winnable with Amari, and this one now without Amari is absolutely losable. Momentum matters. You could hear it in Jerry's voice. He got rid of Jalen Smith. Don't think. He'll forget this. The Chicago Bears situation with Matt Nagy. Tomorrow, the Bears. Andy Dalton will start. Justin Fields is hurt. We'll take on the uh, abysmal Lions. And the the situation with Matt Nagy, listen, the Raiders are going to hire a new coach. We know that. And the Bears are. It's a matter of if not when he gets fired. Uh, Yesterday, he met with ownership before a second walkthrough with the team. He then canceled the rest of his meetings. The locker room, according to reliable Chicago newspaper people. The locker room is asking questions. There's no clarity. It's just a mess. And so Matt Nagy, this is probably his last game, win or lose. So the question becomes, is the Bears a good job? So it's interesting because there's three types of rebuilds in the NFL. There's the, we need everything, including a quarterback. That's Houston. Those are tough jobs. There's We don't need anything but a quarterback. That's Denver. That's a winning roster today. That was Tampa. Like, we got everything. We just have a quarterback. Those are really good jobs, but it's hard to find a quarterback. And the third one is where Chicago is at. We think we have the quarterback, and we have some nice pieces, but our current GM gives up draft picks up against the cap. We had to get rid of players because apparently we're using a bank and we don't have a credit line, unlike the Rams who can pay two quarterbacks and they're still one of the best teams in the league. The Bears' job has actually got many things going for it. Number one, it's, a, it's an offensive league. There is a, this is really a great year 
for young offensive coordinators to graduate to head coach. It's a really good year in the league. You have a top defensive coordinator with Indy. You've got three to four really good offensive coordinators. That's the key. It's a great year to be looking for a young coach. The second thing is, it looks like they have their quarterback in Justin Fields, and next year he won't be battling Andy Dalton for snaps. They will know probably very soon, once he gets his ribs back in shape, this is going to be his franchise for at least minimum the next three years unless he fails. And, and the third thing is, their running back, wide receiver, tight end talent is pretty good. The Bears have two issues. The offensive line, it's not like Jacksonville bad or the New York Giants bad or Atlanta bad. It's ranked like 18th, 19th, 20th. You could solve it in the draft. The other issue is they've only got four draft picks, but they have some capable defensive players who are getting old and expensive. You could move and get picks. This organization just needs at the top coach and GM Smart, young, capable people. This is a wildly passionate fan base. Historically, they've never fired a coach in season. So say what you want about the Chicago Bears, but they've given a lot of coaches an extra year. This is not an offensive line that is not fixable. The Chargers fix their offensive line because they have a good GM in one offseason. The Bears can. They've got to move some old defensive pieces, get more draft picks, hit on their first two to three picks, and if Justin Fields can play, it's a good football team. It's a good football team. Detroit is a long way off. Minnesota, if Mike Zimmer doesn't win down the stretch, will have a whole new staff in with Kirk Cousins. And Aaron Rodgers, he could leave too. So I don't think, listen, if you have the quarterback, Denver, John Elway checked out in 20, 1998. 23 years later, Denver has only been good at quarterback when they rented Peyton Manning. And Dan Marino left in 1999. That's 22 years, and they still can't get it right. So of all the rebuilds out there, there's an argument to be made. The best rebuild, because it's so hard to find a quarterback, right? You get about one and a half a year in the NFL. Find a great quarterback. The best kind of rebuild is we've got our quarterback. We've got some good skill people. We just got to get better in the front office and fix our own line. That is incredibly solvable in one offseason. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.